Hi. All right, hi, hi. Uh, so today we're going to fix this damage. <laughs> yeah, I've never done this before. Um, but the good thing is it's fresh. Um, I've watched a whole bunch of YouTube videos on it, right? So I gotta smooth all this stuff out and feather it a little bit. And then I should just be able to lay one or two pieces of fiberglass in there and uh, call it quits. The only problem is, is it's not gonna solve the problem with my terrible uh, trailer here. So in this order, uh, this is what I did. Sanded everything down, wiped it with acetone, and then filled up the little nooks and crannies with fiberglass. In none of those steps did I act like a big fat dork. So don't even think I did. You know, along with everything else, I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of, uh, well, you should've done this, you should've done that, but uh, so far, I think it looks pretty good. I've sealed the entire thing. Um, I did exactly what I've read. Uh, the hump is gone. Now all I have to do is let this dry and I'm just gonna sand around the corners and I think it should be perfect. So, I'll tell you what, for my first time doing this, it's very easy. I mean, I hope it, hope it doesn't sink later, but. All right, let's look at the results. So this actually looks pretty good. It's fairly smooth. Um, I just have a little divot right there, uh, but I can tell that it's closed off. Um, I mean, it looks ugly as hell, but all I'm gonna do is sand it down and then I'm gonna use some epoxy to make sure that uh, the whole thing's closed. And I don't have any paint, so, but it is as hard as woodpecker lips. Happy. Clayton, do you know what we should do today? No, Daddy, what? We should tear apart the boat. First we removed the motor and set it aside so we could start working. I can just peel this right up. Um, and this has some pretty significant wobble and you can see that there is a lot of rot in there. So 
I figured since it's not supposed to rain today, I'm gonna cut this thing wide open. I'm gonna fill it with epoxy because I just bought a quart of it. That should be enough. And then uh, I'm gonna re-fiberglass it. Yeah. Now, you know what they say about assumptions. It makes something out of something in me and uh, it proves correct this time. Once I started cutting in, I realized that the damage was much worse than I thought. All right, as you can see, this is all just soaking wet on the rock. Rotten, rotten, rotten. So, I gotta figure out where the rot stops. Woo hoo. got most of the transom uh, open and I've gotten to pretty much dry wood. But with the start of a brand new day I realized that I had not made it to dry wood. Right, so excuse my disheveled look, uh, but I've got it all cleaned out. I've got a piece of wood. The only thing I have now is, yes it got bigger. A little bit of give in here and I think it's just because it's a thin piece. However, uh, that's gonna cause an issue, the same issue that there was before. Because every time I put the motor on there, this whole thing is gonna bend a little bit. I'm thinking if I just lay fiberglass all the way down, it might be fine as long as I make these edges nice and smooth instead of sharp like they are now. However, I'm not convinced. So I'm gonna put a few layers of fiberglass back here and see if I can't strengthen it a little bit, make it a little bit stronger. Um, I also have to fill these holes with the epoxy that I bought, uh, which isn't a big deal. And then I need to start layering on this side uh, and this side. So let's do it. Before I dove into that, I decided I'd take a look at the motor. I decided one reason the motor might be acting up is because air might be getting in where the fuel filter is. So I bought some hose clamps and I tightened them on really tight and uh, no air is going to get in there now. Up next, a monsoon ruins my entire weekend. Thanks for joining guys, see you soon.